Come on, everybody get set, let's go. It's the next episode. It's the Premium Pete Show. News, interviews, all of the info. Listen up, it's the Premium Pete Show. If you want to scoop in the low, down low. Listen to the show, cause Milk said so. Fuck what you heard, better act like you know. Miss Lissa knows. It's the Premium Pete Show. I love when cats think they bigger than a sumo. That's when I hit them with a little Puerto Rican judo. Uh. Oh, you don't know what that is. That's yeah. when I say, you don't know who got this is. And you don't know, your guns is hand me down. And you don't know, know, we put you where you can't be found. And you don't know, you better toughen up. Because you don't know, homeboy will fuck you up. And you don't know, baby, we don't need you. And when it come to Jimmy, my name's me too. Because when he got cash, I was like me too. And when he got ass, I was like me, me too. too. And when he got... I was like, me too. And when he almost got shot, I said, me too. What you getting now? It's just a preview. We all tend it out. Your car see-through. Uh, I see you. Uh, hey, uh, uh. it's for hire. Mama Cita. Yep. Tell him more. Tell him more. Si, senorita. Okay. We're going to rise. Go Harlem to, to the, the top. top. Cheer. Hey. Michael Foster. Uh, Who are those people? Uh, Huddy Cone. Those are well, people, that, that, RB, those are people that work at Target. Well, not honey. <laughs> Internet. Michael Foster. Listen, we're back, and, and I'm actually going to start off an episode numbering an episode. Um, I'm a contradicting motherfucker. Episode 16, we here, we Why back. Why are you doing this? Um, Because, you know, I don't know. Some episodes, I won't Yo. say what episode it is, but people are going to know because they're following in order, okay? No, no, but you're Italian. Your word is your bond, and that, you said you yeah, wasn't... But, now we got to cut your fucking lips off all yeah. over here. All his yeah. Over <laughs> here. Going to fucking take your balls off and hand it to you because you're a fucking liar. But the problem is, most of the times today, they don't keep their fucking word. Why do you think the mafia is a joke? The joke these days. Oh, you're days. calling us a joke? Oh, hey, hey, I'm going to tell you a fucking joke. You know, you know what I find knock, offensive? Knock. You know what I find offensive? I was what? watching Cat in the Hat with my son. <laughs> and the fucking guy, no, Curious George. I was watching a mu- the movie, uh, Curious George. Right. And one of the characters was like, they were like asking him a question. He was like, yeah, I got to get the thing over here. Over. I got to bring it over here, my guy. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, they're abusing Italian people? Like, you know, like, it just seems so... I don't know, Jersey Shore-ish. Well, you felt like it was like contrived, like it was fake. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I felt that way, you know? It's crazy you say that because I was on the, what is it called, the Skyline, which is like that little like uh, elevated area from like 14th Street to 34th Street. is like on 11th Avenue. In New York Avenue. City. Right. So I'm just walking there with my, my daughter and Rena. Shout out to Rena and her yep, Paninis. Yep. And we're walking and someone comes up to us and's like, oh, do you know about The Simpsons? And we're like, yeah, long story short, I end up doing a segment for True, like, uh, True TV or some shit like that. And for, as Marge? I'll slap the shit out of you. Okay, my I'm sorry. Not blue. Okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And? So the whole basis of it was that a boo, a boo from the Quickie Mart, Okay. A white man does his voice. So it really? was like, yeah. So this guy was like outraged because he's like, why do you have this white guy doing the voice for, like, the, oh, my God, welcome to the Quickie yeah, Mart. Quickie 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 Mart. Yo, the thing is, the funniest thing about voiceovers is even voices. Like, yo, you never know. Growing up, I remember a girl called me one time by accident, and I was talking to her, and she sounded so hot, and I told her that I, I meet her. And uh, I just told her I had a different color car. She, I was like, yo, look for a white <laughs> Nissan. Meanwhile, I had like a black Chevy, you know, blazer. And, uh, yo, when I pulled up, yo, she was like, she was like, stay puff. Like, she was, I was like, nah, you know, like, the, you know who stay puff is? No. But, but anyway, like, yo, I was like, nah, man, I'm not fucking with that. So, but her voice sounded so sexy. I swear to God, she was pretty. But when I pulled up on her, man, it's she like looked on like Friday. Remember yeah, when she man. was like, "People tell me I sound, I look like Janet Jackson." And then when she showed up, he was like, "Who was that? Cookie? More like Freddie Jackson with Smokey, Smokey or the Cookie? fat girl? Not nah, Smokey. That's, Smokey was the Smokey. Smokey was no, Chris no, no, Tucker. No, Friday. Yeah, but who was the girl? Remember? Because uh, I girl, forget her name. Angela, whatever. Cousin. She yeah, she was taping the VCR. She was trying to dub a tape. No, anyway, internet. Y'all talking about Felicia? Y'all Inter- gotta watch the movie again. I'm talking about the big girl. Oh, you talking about the girl he up. met in the car? Yeah. With the, yeah. Nah. yeah j- j- and she oh. was like, "Oh, what's up?" And he was like, "Not a damn thing." Yeah, he said, "He said you look like Freddie Jackson." Yeah, that's yeah, what I know you're talking about. about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, internet. I want to. I want to bring in, and then we're gonna continue with our conversation. But joining us today is, uh, he has a lot of AKAs, you know, uh, he calls himself Mr., uh, what do you call it, Sixth Avenue God, or what do you say? Sixth Ave God. Sixth Ave God. Uh, 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 fuck your jeweler, your right? Your jeweler ain't shit. Your jeweler ain't shit. Mr. Mr. Flawless. Mr. Flawless. Ow. Uh, Ow. Uh, Mr. Yuna. 
You know? You know. Um, Mr. Where is our stuff? Mi- well, what was the other one? Uh, that I'm uh, there's about. a couple of names. Anyway, listen, Mr. Flawless is in the building with us. He's hanging with us. Uh, welcome to the show. Hey. He's, hey. Yo, Mr. Flawless is like, uh, you know, he's building his miles. This guy's traveling all over. I've been trying. Listen, I had easier luck getting in touch with fucking uh, 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 people I, I know for a short of time. Right. Than to get Mr. Flawless on. It feels like That's you've not true. known him forever. Because uh, of the same man, demeanor. When Pete hollers, I answer. And listen, man, I'll tell you one thing. is it, I've been watching this kid's grind for a minute. And um, before we even go back to what me and Miss Lissa were talking about, for people who don't know and are just listening and, and, and really understanding, like, who, who the fuck is Mr. Flores? It's funny because Jacob the Jeweler, like, like he was in the same fucking booth that you were at. Like, explain to the fucking people. So Jacob the jeweler used to well is is an amazing jeweler. Okay. And he started off in the booth that I'm at now. On in a diamond district. In the diamond district Street? started off. Jay Puff. Everybody used to go. Right. There. He was that guy. Did you like work under him? Like an I apprentice? never worked under him. Of course, I'm sorry. But we come from the same culture. Right. Mm-hmm. And when uh, you say culture, you mean I mean he nationality Jewish, Baharian, mm-hmm. Russian. Russian. Okay. Vat. Yeah. So yeah. you have you met him? Yeah, he's you know, our families know each other. I've met him before. You know, where is somebody he? on the lamb still? He he's new money now, so he took okay. his shit to Europe and okay, and, you okay. Because he, he went to jail of, for a little while, right? He did his thing. Went to jail. Didn't speak. You know, he yeah, had a little yeah. situation. Of course, you're stand up guy. Yeah, and uh, he actually moved from the Diamond District and took his store over to Fifty Seventh Street. Okay. Is that and, better? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's across street from Louis. Right. Yeah. He's doing his thing, you know, foot traffic over okay, there is okay, crazy, okay. you know, rent. I mean, I mean, he owns the building, but I'm sure, you know. He did his thing. God bless He, he was that guy. It. He was that guy in the jewelry world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so do you 20- feel like he, did he like, uh, kind of like, like give you like the crown? He never or- gave me the crown and I asked for it from him before. <laughs> and it's funny. I don't know if you, uh, any of you guys familiar with uh, Jonathan Mannion? Yeah, of course. Photographer. So, yeah. so Jonathan Mannion is a good friend of mine who used to work. He's done many things for sure. Jacob the Jeweler before. And, and tons me and of albums. Yeah, yeah. Me and him are good friends and I was like, yo, listen, like everybody keeps calling me the new Jacob because I'm in his old booth. Yeah. And, right. And la, la, la. I started, so I made a shirt that said the new Jacob. And I posted it, and people went wild. Yeah. So Johnny hits me. He's like, "Yo, listen, what you did right there was 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 historical. Let's reach out to homie and see if maybe he could kind of get behind you and, sure, and, sure. and kind of give yeah, you that, co-sign. you know, just co-sign you. Nobody wanted to co-sign me. And uh, he kind of he kind of blew Johnny off, and I was like, you know what? Well, pause him, Johnny. Well, no, 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 no problem. So I kind of had a, you know, coming out with a new shirt, Jacob who. So, <laughs> you know. Yo, because I feel like I did Where? more. I did more shit than he. Listen, he has super bread. Yeah, but forget about the money. If we yeah. take the money out of the equation, I did more as a. I did more in 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 my career than he did in his career. In, 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 in comparison what, in, to what? I mean, like creativity. Um, you know what? Why did you have to ask me that question? No, no, it's 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 a good question because creativity. Uh, it's about as far as creativity. He he came in at the, at the at a at a good time, like Jay fucked with him, Puff mm-hmm. Puff fucked with Kanye. him, Kanye. You know what I mean? And 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 he came. I mean, out a like, lot of people. I mean, I I'm, a lot of Jews I grew up now, in Brooklyn. I had a Jacob right, watch, right? You know? you know, and and he he did his thing. So he was he was at a, a, in a good place at a good time. Right now, where I'm at is everybody's a jeweler now. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to be a jeweler. Everybody's right. It's like everybody. Know, so it's everything. difficult for me to kind of get up and get out of my. You know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm in the diamond district. There's a million jewelers in the diamond district. So, I live over so, there. So and there's a lot of a lot of Jewish people come there for to me buy to, jewels. Yeah. No? no, is that a lot? Who I has mean, it? Who has it? Jewish people really got their connects, so they don't really buy no no too much. No. Jewelry. So when you say like you know that like what's some of the stuff that you would say you. I'm done, I feel right? like as far as creativity wise and, and, and you know getting out there like he had he was he got popping from Jay and Puff and, and, and people saying his name through through music right. and, 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 and hip hop world you know what I mean I feel like I, I came in and kind of Picasso my way through mm-hmm. you know he, he took orders and, and just did what people wanted him to make I made my own things I did my own thing how did you get into this is it a family business? It, it, it was a family business that I never wanted to get into. So my uncle and my cousin owned a jewelry shop. And coming from a Jewish home, jewelry is something you could always fall back on. And that's something I didn't want to do. 
Right. Man, fuck jewelry. I always get back. To so what did you want to do? Growing up as a kid, I mean, I wanted to be what every kid wanted to be, a fucking astronaut, a, a veterinarian. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who the fuck I want to yeah, I don't like, want to be no veterinarian. I wanted to be jewelers and basketball yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to be a fucking jeweler. I wanted know? to be a porn star like, when I was growing up. But you That's have it. a baby remote, so back to him. No. So what's going on? So... Y- y- you know, I, I wanted to kind of, you know, all my all my mom's friends, sure. sons and daughters and shit. And you grew up in fathers. Queens. I grew up in Queens. Yeah. And I just didn't want to fall back on anything. And I was in the mortgage business for a little while. I was in the real estate business and it went to shit. And my mom was just like, listen, your cousin's hiring. You know, they lost somebody. You know, somebody ended up stealing from their jewelry store. Damn. Why don't you go work for them, you know, seasonal? I'm like, well, how much are they paying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to leave yeah, my... Yeah, sure, sure, I'm sure. I'm not getting money. I don't want to go. Right. So she's like, call them and see what the situation is. They were like... So I called. I'm like, so listen, my mom told me to give you guys a call. They said you needed somebody, you know, seasonal. And, sure. You know, what's this issue? And they were like, listen, we'll give you $70 a day. I was like, all right, cool, no problem. I'll call you back. I I, told, I called my mother. I said, Ma, they want to give me $70 a day. You want me to stop sure, doing sure. what I'm doing for $70 a sure. day? She's like, well, what you're doing is not good. You're never going to get anywhere doing this yeah, shit. Yeah. You know, like a regular Jewish mom boy. Yeah. And I ended up going there, you know, $70 a day. And I started from Thanksgiving. And I worked seven days a week till Christmas. God damn. Well, Hanukkah. One, so, man, Christmas and Hanukkah landed in the same Okay, I'm program. sorry. <laughs> he don't know once, one, once... Once that was done, I was like, guys, thank you. I'm good, but I'm 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 right. I'm, I'm gone here. Thank you. I didn't realize that I used to I was working where Jacob the Jeweler was working. I didn't realize that 50, Big, J, sure. everybody walked through that. I had sure. no idea. I had no idea. And nobody came through that 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 season. So I was like, I'm not coming back here. Yeah, I'm sure. Good. It wasn't popping. Like, no, no, what are you talking about? Everybody it wasn't loves lit. you. So they're like, everybody loves you. We'll up your pay, we'll give you 150 a day. I'm like, listen. Uh Basically, they talked me into working. I was like, when I get home, I'm just going to tell my mom to handle it because I'm not going to work. They're like, listen, the hours are going to get shorter. Come through. See what it is. I was like, you know what? I'll try one more week. The one more week I try, Fab walks in, 50 walks in. Same week, Floyd walks in. Mm. I'm a fan. Like, I'm a fan fan. I'm, I'm from Queens. You don't see this shit. Like, right. You got to be in New York City to bump it to anybody. Sure. No one's rolling through Queens. And I was like, you know what? This might be the spot for me because everybody's coming to me. Everybody's in a suit and tie. And I speak their language. And you have something they want. You know, it's funny because I, was, I, I talk about this all the time. Being involved in footwear for many years, I never realized that I was of importance to people that like, I looked up to. Like, I met Michael Douglas, and he was like, yo, take my number. Because he was looking for a certain sneaker called What the Dunk SB. Michael Douglas? Yeah, and he, for his nephew. So weird. For his, so, but the point I'm trying to make is, like, take my number. And I was like, as he was giving, I was like, sure, no problem. Give me your number. But then when, he, when I was writing it, when I was putting in the phone, I was like, yo, did Michael Douglas really just give me his number? Yeah. But I, he needed something that it's, I had. It's so weird. So I didn't understand. I didn't know my value, you know? You got you got a dude like Floyd coming in. I, I was so starstruck. Sure, at the time. sure, I was sure. Like, oh shit, Floyd's here! I, I went out to give him a pound, and he gives me like a fist. Yeah. And I'm like, man, fuck this shit! I just spent sixty dollars fucking uh, on pay per view and yeah. charged all my brothers, all my friends to come through and watch this shit. So you made and your he money back. He gave me one of these. Give you I remember leaving. I remember being so pissed off. I'm like, I'm not talking to this dude no more. Fuck him. Me and him ended up being the bestest friends ever. <laughs> yeah, and we'll, talk, we'll we'll get into that more um, as we uh, you know delve into Mr. Flores's uh, career and and how he came up. And I like his story. That's why I wanted you here because I really felt like uh, you know it, it, it's jewelry is is something so different. You know? I think it's and a waste I, of money. No, no, most definitely. But here's the you thing: you think that jury? I is think a waste this shit is the biggest and waste of money. You're gonna say that? No, yeah, he, see, he, I, he told I, me I, that the first I made time a shirt I met him. that said it. I'm but, gonna tell. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it so official. Isn't that counterproductive? But li- listen. If you're going to pay somebody, look, it's like this. It's like fucking. That's like a plastic surgeon being like, I think everyone should stay natural. It's like a plastic surgeon saying this shit's no not healthy, but I'm going to do it because I'm good at it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? The shit is a waste of money however you break it down. Unless you know how to buy. I got people coming in to see me with no teeth. And I'm, like my, go- and I'm like, my God, fix your teeth before you come buy jewelry for me. Nah, I need They this. might want gold teeth. I need this. Nah. Well, let me I'm talking about. They want, ne- they want necklaces? <laughs> they want fucking watches and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, how, yo, bro, How, how materialistic is jewelry in 2016? 
It's fucked up. I think everybody got it fucked up, but this is what people need to feel right. Yeah. And I get it. I get it. It's like to me, it's like, you know, it's funny because it's like I, I I get it also when 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 I was growing up and I was hustling and I had the money to really blow on or like a Rolex or, or, or back in the day, I'm talking about I was wearing heron bones mm -hmm. or rope chains or Figaro. Is that how to say it? Figaro? Figaro. 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 Right? Not Figaro. Figaro. Not Figaro. It, no, what is it? You're not even getting Italian. You ain't Italian. It's, it's, it's a Figaro. Yeah, it's a Figaro. It's a Figaro. Okay. Stop trying to fucking... I don't want you no, 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 to I corrected him. I corrected him. He learns a new work every week, and now he's like motherfucking the thesaurus. Go sit down. Uh, GED, so Figaro, GED, GED. Thank you. Know? Listen, but, I got my GED, too. I have a Hello. good enough Get diploma. That. Good enough. But but here's the thing. You know, um, growing up, like, when I had the money, I would buy it. And it was an investment, even when I bought, like, back in the day, I bought Rolexes. But now, like... I don't buy jewelry because I ain't moving like that. If you know how to buy jewelry, mm -hmm. it's it's not a waste of money. Mm -hmm. The way you people, mean invest the, like the, the way people are spending money today on jewelry is a waste of money, and I'll be the first to say it. You gonna give us some tips? I'm, what I'm saying is, if you're gonna blow your money, mm -hmm. blow it with me. But of it's course. a waste. But the shit is a waste of money, and no old jeweler would tell you that. Well, no, no, no. I respect that, but I, you know what I really like, Miss Lisa? He, he makes uh, you know it's funny how he says that he carved his own way and i believe in that because he like uh, you made a lot of jesus pieces a certain way or the angels i did the jesus pieces the angels we changed the game with the jesus piece so like me and this um i don't know if anybody heard of this artist called naturel okay mm -hmm. of course, he, you of know you know him i love his work so, it's like them like and he does stuff with all Jay, abstract like, yes, so, so me and, so check it so me and him came together and we were like yo let's 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 do something epic Everybody made all these cool Jesus pieces and all this stuff. Let's, let's, let's get together and make something dope. We ended up making the most simplest Jesus piece that changed the fucking game. And that put me on a map. I, still, that's, I think that's why I started following him. That put me on a map. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of it. And, I, you know, I, I look at it and I say to myself, nah, man, I got to buy Similac and fucking diapers and fucking Sweet Sixteens. But you know what? Like, I really appreciate the creativity because keep in mind, too, the people that you work for, your family. Right. I'm sure they look at you like, especially being Russian and being Jewish, right? I'm sure they look at you like, fuck this guy, I think he's a celebrity. You I know? Went, no, honestly, because what I'm listen, saying is you created things. Listen, I went from being a salesman to giving my boss a job. Mm. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I did? Mm. I, I, like cre that. I created something where my boss was like, yo, I want to get in. And I was like, you know what? You can get in. I'm going to give you half. This is what needs to go down. So, so I made That's my crazy. boss my partner. You built a brand. I built a brand. While we were sitting there making jewelry and doing all this dumb shit, he didn't see he didn't see my vision. And I can't. You can't. You can't explain. Somebody that's old school or has an old school mentality. Oh of, my a vision. God! Can you, you cannot, preach? You preach it you, to the choir. You cannot. It's impossible. But you can show them. I'm, I'm, I'm telling my uncle. I'm like, yo, unk. Like I can do this, this, and he's like, shut the fuck up. You don't know shit. You're a dumb kid. Just There's no trust idea. You, me. you spend your money on sneakers. Right, right, I'm like, let me I'm get like, that. Let me I'm get like, that. Dude. Let me get that voice down better. Uh, shut the fuck up. Uh, you don't know shit. Yeah. The neck we blah the suka Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So okay. like, it's it's very difficult to break an old mentality. So you, the only way to do that is with action. I'm I sitting there taking pictures in the street, and he's like, what the fuck is this for? Well, we'll get to that. I, we'll get to that. that, that that's another thing. That's what it's for. But no, no I, I I like that you gave. You know, it's funny because even like when Mikey likes it, when I had him up here, and he's and I consider him a good friend of mine. I like how with 2016, young entrepreneurs, what they're doing is changing the game. Nobody ever thought like to think that you would put a Mister and your logo on back of a chain. What's that chain that people buy? It's like 50 grand. It's like what's it called? These. It's a kilo. Kilos, what is they come. They, it's this style, but they come big. Do you know why I started that Mister stuff? I was so so. I was new. I'm not a jeweler. I, I, I was new to the game. I, I ended up working as a salesman. Right. I came to the hood and everybody I was in there. It was all the right. same shit. Everybody copied off Jacob. Everybody wanted to make watches. Jacob made a watch at the right time. He was in the right place at the right time. He made Jacob and Co. Everybody's mm -hmm. now Raffaello and Co. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah. Co. People are just this, this behind. And co. So, so yeah. following this dude. I'm not yeah. going to come into the jewelry game and be like, hey, let me, let me be uh, Greg and Co. and yeah. make a watch. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. The dude was there at the right place, right time. It's it. It's simple. And I got there fresh. I'm not a jeweler. I'm from Queens. Regular fly kid. I like to get money. And I like sure, to most definitely. So I started making things that I liked for myself. And like. I started making things. And then now, a week later, the stuff that I make is down the block and it's being sold for half of what I'm selling it for because it's already watered down. Yeah. And this is why I had a problem with all these New York jewelers because it's like, I'm making all this fresh fly shit and you guys are selling it to clients you already have. 
I had, I had no, I had no clientele. I had no fan base. How cutthroat is the jewelry? It's super cutthroat. You get sharks. It's all sharks. Well, knowing that even that you became cool with Floyd Mayweather, how 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 people don't try to like you know get him uh, while he comes on the block. They don't try to anything to get his business. Yeah. And to me, it's cheesy. It's like you, 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 it's like so. This is where I come in with the. I'm watching all these jewelers give celebrities free things just so they can fuck with them. And to me, it's like breaking the code. It's like why am I get? It's like being in school, right? It's like it's like giving somebody your milk mm -hmm. or your lunch. Chocolate milk, yeah. Butter just so cookies. they can be your friend. Yeah. I'm looking at it like yo, fuck you guys. I'm yeah. gonna make my shit, and you want it, you buy it. Right. And that's it. Yeah, I, 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 our, our go, photographer. Go, this. Yeah, here, I'll give this to you for free if you post this on Instagram. Well, how do you counteract them bootlegging your stuff there? That's where the mister came in. That's right. why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start stamping my shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna come up with a. I'm gonna come up with Which my own. Which to your brand. family, they had to think that you were crazy. They thought I was bugging. Because they're like, who the they fuck? They thought I was bugging. Because honestly, the old school thing, like, who the fuck do you think you are? I spent my last forty five hundred dollars on hats. Yeah. Just saying Mr. Flawless? They just said Mr. on it. They had a, oh, Mr. Just, just a Mr. Yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the logo, They were looking yeah. at me. They were like, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your money on, 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 on material? Yeah. Why don't you buy gold? I was like, give me a second. <laughs> give me I a like second. I like that. I like that. I like that. It, it goes to show you, even like, even like I said, again. And I didn't even know if it was going to work. I was hoping, I was praying to God it was going to work. Because I saw it. I was like, you know what? I'm like, I'm watching Kith. Everybody knows Kith? Yeah, Ronnie Fagan. I'm watching, yeah. This is a kid I grew up with. I'm yeah. watching him blow up. Yeah. It's funny. I watch, I, watch his, I watch his grind. And I'm, wa I'm, and I'm, watching, come and I'm watching. I'm yeah. not like, I'm watching this go down. And I'm like, you know what? If, if they could do it. And I'm watching how he's doing it. It's not like I came up with my own. You know, I'm watching how he's moving. And I took a little bit from here, from there, from there, from there. I put it together and I, and I put it out. And it worked. Yeah. But I was consistent. And I believed. Yeah. So even speaking about somebody like Floyd Mayweather, and you know, he comes into the store, and you speak about how you were, you know, a little nervous. A little Dude, like... I was starstruck when I when I when I saw Floyd. How, how did how did how did that week, literally three build? weeks before he came in? I just had I just remember ordering a pay per view fight at my house. Yeah. I invited all my friends over, and he he comes in. I'm like, oh shit! And this is the first time I'm in, I'm working in my store for a month, so this is the first time he comes in and they leave me in my booth alone. Yeah, sure. Like these motherfuckers We're never trusted to help me <laughs> ever. The day they leave me alone, he comes in, and he's used to working with the. He's been there before, so right. he used to work with the dude that was there before, and he had a. He already had a way he worked with him, and as soon as he walked in, he's like, "Where's my man at? Where's my man at?" Right. And I'm like, "Uh, uh, I don't know." So I call my cousin, like, "Yo, listen, Floyd's here. Come through. Like, I don't know what to do." So he's like, "Show me watches." So I'm like, "I'm showing him one piece at a time." Mind you, when this guy comes in, you got to take out the whole fucking store and right, roll it out. Right, because he bought this is money made. This is money made, brother. I don't know he shit. I just how, money, how much is, is he fucking buying? He doesn't come into my store unless he spends a hundred thousand dollars. Really? A, at, he does not come in. <laughs> fucking. Mayweather. Sometimes I feel like he feels bad and he fucks with me, so he'll spend like sixty. Yeah, like, you know what? I fuck with him. I spend but 60. but is this something that he likes? Per or oh, he just like? Oh, he, is, is he I like mean, anything he that you're creating? He likes, the, he likes the work that we do. He likes me. I mean, we. But both. he has a vision of what he wants. No. I've made him custom pieces before. Okay. He's, like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what but he of, likes Rolex. What, what type of pieces? Some TMT pieces, you know, okay. the team, all that stuff. I made some pieces for him. For I got his a, artists and stuff, I'm sure. He he likes when things are made, and then he's like, yes, yes, no, no. You okay. Know, you got he he's like a. So you'll take the time out to actually make a, a custom piece, and then he just be like, I don't like it. Yeah, and you break it down. Okay. It's worth it. Right. You know what I'm saying it's worth it when when you do things for him. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I get that. You know, I mean, has it, he it, ever had an engagement ring made for someone? He's bought. He become an big stones before, bitches. but no engagement rings. Not oh. for me. He ever buy some stuff for his girls? Yeah, he, he buys a lot of stuff for his chicks girls. Yeah, 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 he buys them watches, he, whatever. He has an entourage, so it's not like so he, he it's, like there's not like one female he's buying for. He's buying for a couple of girls. And he's bought before all his for bodyguards. Yo, his bodyguards are the biggest motherfuckers I've ever I seen in the world. I just made a nice piece for his bodyguards. Yo, that dude, how tall is that motherfucker? He's like six seven. God damn, yo, yo, his bodyguards are like fucking yo. I swear to God, man. I'm, I'm, what did you make him? A diamond a encrusted, big, like, a big diamond a bulletproof a. vest, a big diamond A. A, a diamond A. An A. Okay. For Alphonse. Hey, listen, at least he takes care of his team, man. You know, that means a lot. Alphonse, when... if you hear this, you're my guy. Yeah, that means a lot when people. Yo, honestly, we, we talk about uh, wedding rings. It, as a jeweler, because I know you say you're not a jeweler, but you became, I'm going to call you entrepreneur jeweler. 
You're a jeweler, what beloved. You, that's like I consider like myself more of an artist. Like, I'm not a role model. Like, guess what? Yeah, people are you looking said up that, to Charles you. Charles Barkley. Yeah, like you, you're Charles fucking Ma, you like, Charles Barkley. You shut are the fuck a jeweler, okay. like you know, okay. like you, and that's the field that you're in. You, you're an artist of jewels. No, he is. But, but but here's my question: Do you think the wedding ring, quote unquote, is bullshit? The engagement ring. The reason why I say that for is because I feel like a lot of people over the years, because they can't afford to keep up with the Joneses, or the you know what I like? Can don't I get married. I, can I tell you because what I like? Because they got to fucking buy this big ass ring. Where did this myth come from? Can I can I tell you what I like? I I, I deal with people, so I deal with this shit all day. So I have okay. I, I get a couple that comes in, and then you get this girl, and she's like a brat. She's like, eh, I don't like that. And then you have another couple that comes in, and she's like, Yo, I'll just I'll take whatever you give me because mm-hmm. I love you. And like those are the people I fuck with. I like when a female comes in. She's like, I, you, you know what? I don't I, just make it the way you want it because I'm gonna take it like that. Because yeah. whatever you give me, I'll take. And then you have people that you know they want their shit a certain way, which is fine too. Yeah. But I feel like it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter how big or how much it is. I feel like the meaning is is right. Personally, that's how right. I feel. But I think people get lost in that in marriage. I think unfortunately, people guys particularly are trying to buy the biggest fucking rock for their girl to keep up with the Jones. Meanwhile. Yo, you got to fucking worry about loving her. So check it out. So I'm Mr. Flawless, right? Yeah. Yes, you don't you, you don't know me. Thanks for reintroducing me. Check yourself. it out. So you don't know so you don't know me. Tomorrow I want to get engaged. Right. What do you expect me to give my lady? A, a big diamond. Why a big diamond? Cuz you're Mr. Flawless. See what I'm saying? You fucked yourself no, up. No, that's what it, yeah, what you saying? did it. But honestly, if you were in the <laughs> you porno business and I you couldn't give fuck your girl, <laughs> right? <laughs> you, 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 you're fucking up, you understand? But see like that that that's where I'm at. It's just I think it's all bullshit. I think I think all that extra shit doesn't really matter. Yeah. No, I mean I you know get I mean? it. That's Some for show. Sure. I I got her a nine ten carat stone, right? She's waving it around, but the relationship is bullshit. Yeah, it's garbage. That's the day that we live in, but right? That's now. That's not how I want to live. You know what I mean? So, I'd rather be happy inside and not worry about what's going on. As far as like, oh, any any female that wants something, me per, I feel like any female that wants something big and crazy like that, she's not really in it for. Are you in like a little situation right now? Never. I'm not in any kind of situation. I'm he's just saying from, from life experience. But I'm just, like, I'm okay, I'm not saying that he's like locked down. I just was asking the question. Okay, okay. You don't have to jump. Damn my G with the G on his head. Damn my G, just chill out. I wasn't even asking you. I was well, talking yeah. to Mr. Flawless. M- M- Mr. Flawless is, you know, he... You his representative? He's moving. No, I'm out as well yet. Jewish people... I feel like it shouldn't matter. Jewish people don't hire Italians as their lawyer. Italians yeah, hire Jewish people don't know people. Word. Actually, my last lawyer was Italian. Really? Yeah. What? Did, did he do anything you good You definitely did some time. Did, uh, what happened he, when he you got out of jail? The, he didn't do... <laughs> I should have listened to my mother, man. You should have stayed with the like Jewish fucking ten thousand dollars. Stay, stay with it. Listen, the last Italian lawyer that uh, we know is is, he was is like Colombo and, and Irish. Is is fucking uh uh, uh Joe Pesci and my cousin Vinny. What was his I name? I love that Utes. movie, the two yeah. Utes. The two Utes. The two Utes. I love that movie with the grits. So when That's I get married, shit. I want to wear that tuxedo with the fucking with the wings. Yes. You collagenal. You gotta get everything Cologenal. you ever needed. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yo, but anyway, you know what? Let, let, let's take a break. Quick let's break. take a break and let's come back. Let's. I, I want to dive into a couple of things. Ow, a couple boy, of who you diving into? With no, the no, no, no. A couple of things. A couple of topics I want to talk about. Listen, internet. We're sitting here with Mister Flawless. We're talking jewelry. We're talking marriage. We're talking all that shit. I don't want to talk we, jewelry anymore. You I know. Gonna, we gonna do it. You gonna do it. Like, shit you so gonna talk can... about whatever we wanna talk Listen, about. You know Mr. what? I'm gonna come back and I wanna be politic, Pete. <laughs> Political Pete. No, we okay? gonna do it. I want. don't do politics. I don't know anything you about. You ain't gonna tell us what you don't do flawless. Yeah, but we can talk about shit like that. Internet. Okay. So listen to the Premium P Show featuring Miss Listen Knows. Ow. And uh, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. More Cheer. Mr. Flawless. Chi chi. Yes, yes, you are rocking with the best. This is Just Blaze right now. You are checking out the Premium Pete Show. Featuring Miss Listen Knows, all right? <laughs> okay, Internet, we're back. Listen, we're sitting here with Mr. Flawless. Yeah. Miss Listen, let me tell you something. I want to go over some things. I want to go over it, too. Okay, one thing, I the, the other night I was watching that Republic National, whatever the fuck it's called. Convention. Whatever the fuck it's called. It was in I'll Cleveland. Be with you. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it was in Cleveland. I'll be honest with you. One thing that shit got me tight is that I seen Rudy Giuliani, right? This motherfucker's up there with half a head. His teeth are all fucked up. His glasses are crooked as a motherfucker. And he's talking about how he made New York great. Let me tell you something. I was around. Rudy Giuliani made fucking... He ruined New York. 
Flawless. Listen, do you remember Rudy Giuliani? I'm just the, the only thing I hate about like his whole era. Shout and his out to situation David Dinkins. Was was can the, you please be my the, mayor? Was the fireworks? Yeah. Because of him, I wasn't able to get my hands on fireworks. Other than you that, you know one I thing I didn't like about him either. And he got rid of the hookers, but he had a pro- he did get rid of the hookers. I wasn't fucking with him anymore. Anyway. He got rid of uh, uh, Pete um, was. many massage parlors. I was very upset with him. But, See, the, but to said. be honest with you, what he got rid of too is he tried to get. Supposedly, what I heard is his father got shook down. His father used to own a store, and his father got shook down by the mob many years ago. So when he became in office, you know, he had a a, a vendetta for the mafia. Mm. You know, a lot of people say like he done a lot, but to be honest with you, what he did to in my mind was he ruined New York City because he, he ruined was, New York City for the crookeds. For, yeah, for the crookeds. He didn't ruin New York City for the straights. No, but but he was also keep in mind so too. So all the straights is good. No, but he was we, also we, we, a big everybody he crooked. Was, so it's kind of you fucking shit up a little bit here and there. He was also a bigot. That's the problem. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing that bothered me about watching that Republic. What is what's it called again? The Republican National Convention. Oh, you saying it's so sweet? You know, I'll be honest with you. Like that shit. The thing that bothered me about it was like, it was like. People were blind to the fucking fact. No one's blind. People no, are just accepting the bullshit. My biggest thing is, what a, you missing the point. The whole Melania, Manili, Vanilli, like Trump gate. You don't know about her stealing Michelle Obama's speech. Oh, they they were very That's upset the today. Ticket. Don't nobody care about they were Giuliani. Very upset. Him and his big head could go sit over there with his slow son. Yeah. We want to know why Melania <laughs> Trump is over here stealing speeches from the first lady. Yo. If you alleging that you gonna fix America and America is so bad right now, why you couldn't even find the words to say what you was going to do? She went you word. stole the words. From word for word. Hey, word for word. And we're going to play it right now. We don't, we don't even need to play Thief. that audio. What we else? need to play the audio what? because it's internet that don't know. You work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond. That you do what you say you're going to do. That your word is your bond. And you do what you say and keep your promise. That you treat people with dignity and respect even if you don't know them and even if you don't agree with them. And we need to pass those lessons on to the many generations to follow because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. Barack and I set out to build lives guided by these values and to pass them on to the next generation because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work. What I want to say is this. First time I seen, I, I, I don't remember ever seeing, uh, what's her name, Melania? Mel- Melin- M- Melanin Trump. Melanin Trump. Yo, the first time I seen her, I thought she was Olga from the massage parlor in Brooklyn. Listen, she's Real an talk. immigrant. We got to build a wall around her. Like, she needs mad Legos at her feet. We need to build something around Melania, thieving as Trump. Yo. I don't trust them. But listen, uh, Mr. Falls is yeah, here Falls, with us. Yeah, what you thinking? And we, 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 about this I, I, know you don't like, you know I know you don't like politics, but Say what it. do you think about Donald Trump? Would you make him a necklace? I, listen, no. I, I think if he would listen, orange necklace. To me, all that all this politics shit is like is like. So w, you would make him a like necklace? It's like WWE. It's like it's like wrestling. It's all fake to me. You know what I mean? It, it, it's controlled by somebody else. They're all puppets. So I don't. So pay do you smell what Barack is cooking? I'm, I don't that's pay attention. The only... to that. Honestly, I don't. No. Yeah. Some people think it's it's it's, it's so funny, but I don't. I don't know yeah, the, the politics. The only thing the only thing that bothers me about that is honestly, you know, is the way they address, especially the black dudes that were in that Republican National. The way they addressed the Black what Lives black Matter. Dudes? Here, here's the Why thing. Why don't you say you are a re- Republican? They, yo, honestly, your skin turns honestly, white. Honestly, yo, honestly, yo, people could. Yo. So if you're a Republican, you're automatically white, and if automatically you're, you, no, no, those not dudes, black, yo, cab to stop it for you. It's like shallow how when you look in the mirror, <laughs> white. <laughs> Everybody else see you. I'm not with the politics, man. Or vice yo. versa. Yo. That's how that goes down. I don't watch this. Yo, shit. the only it's thing I want to say is this. The only thing I want to the only thing I want to touch on is this: is their disregard and deflect 
for uh, Black Lives Matter. And this is the thing that bothers me, especially, you know, uh, being with a lady, low-key Nat, that is black, being, yes. you know, having a son that is half black. Here's the thing, and, and, and here's the thing that bothers me, is that they have a super deflect for it, you know? And that's what the whole Republican committee has. You know, nobody's saying, people get mad, especially shout out to all, you know, I'm Italian. The way I grew up, any white person, any person, any anybody, Russian, Jewish, any, whatever you are, Indian, it doesn't matter. Anybody who gets upset at Black Lives Matter, okay? Because here's the thing, all lives matter, yeah. But the thing is, Black Lives Matter is not being paid attention to. So people are saying like, yo, all lives matter, but you ain't paying attention to Black Lives Matter, so Black Lives Matter, because all lives matter is not paying attention to everybody. Here's the thing, my point is this, is, is, is the system is corrupt. The the cops the 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 his are there good cops yeah but the bad cops nobody's saying nothing because it's like almost like a sports uh, athlete coming out being gay if he come out being gay they're gonna look at him a different way the cops can never come out and say that think about that right right but what I'm saying is change needs to be hap you know and 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 and, and it's just it's just honestly it's sad man I'll, well, I'll be honest with you change happens. When people really take charge and know that it's bigger than a hashtag, like whether you're using hashtag Black Lives Matter or hashtag All Lives Matter, that shit doesn't matter unless you take it to Albany and change the laws. Why do you think there's gay marriage? Because people really fought for that law. Why do you think they have Blue Lives Matter? Because those cops did what they had to do to make those laws be enforced. All we doing is yelling and screaming that we matter, but we not showing that we matter. We show that we matter by really taking that shit to paper. And they do it on purpose because they know that you guys have the attention span of a raisin. And as soon as Jordan's go on sale, you're not going to care about the sure, Black you, Lives you, Matter you, and you're going to care about this new sale and this new sneaker. And all we have to do really is come together and prove that we can move as a unit, be peaceful, and really take it to the laws. If you really want to show that you matter, hold these people accountable. You have to vote. You have to show that you are a presence in this universe more than just hanging out on the corner or beefing over some bullshit or yelling on Twitter about you being anger. angry. If you're really angry, you have to go to the courthouse. I like, I like this. Political Miss Lissa. Politi Pol Political Lissa. I like that. But let's get back to uh, Mr. Forbes. So about Mr. Forbes. He was being quiet because you okay. know he don't want to talk about them politics. No, no, no. He, 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 all, all jewelers matter. You know what I mean? All but but, but I'll be honest with you. What I want to know is this. Is there such thing as jewelry beef? And yeah. and, and the reason why mean? I say that for is I know like 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 say I like Ben Bola. I love Ben Bola. Okay. Let me say but I, but, but what, what's up with Ben? What do you think about Ben? Ben's the homie. Okay. But when it comes to jewelry, I'm on top of the food chain. Okay. And that's it. And I'm sure he's gonna say the same thing. That's my bro. So we have an alliance actually. That's my guy. Okay. So we're actually a team. Mm -hmm. So it's like LeBron and I'm not good with sports. I guess J.R. Smith right now. Nah, yeah, I sound no, no, like no. LeBron, we're gonna go LeBron and that little light skin thing. We go Steph Riley Curry. Carter, Curry. Yeah, you sound yeah. like Curry. Y'all not real. Y'all yeah. frenemies. But that's, Boo, but that's they're, not, they're not on the same team, is what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all not. That's what I'm saying. So, oh, me so you want to say LeBron, Kyrie Irving? Okay, me, I get me, it. Me, I get me. it. So me and what I'm saying is it's like Bird and Jordan. No, no, they're on two different mm. teams. He wants to be on different teams. No, I'm talking about we're on the same team, just no, different you're sides. Not. So look, if we went if we went to the Olympics. Okay, we so would you're be dream on the same, team. Yeah, we're the dream team. Okay. So you as far as jewelry goes in New York, like So you like Ben? Yeah, I fuck with Ben. Ben told me. What about uh, uh Wait, the... no, cause did you notice how the tone elevated? I was watching the negotiator and it's certain things that when people do it. <laughs> nah, Ben's my bro. You Ben's stop, my guy. Stop, stop, stop fishing, yo. Shout out to Ben Ball. I fuck Ben's my guy. Ben, let me ask you. Oh, let me you say something. Ben the left, was the only ask dude. Him again, see if he looks to the left. Ben, ben was the only dude that when I came into the jewelry game, I like I I already looked at everybody and I was like, you know what? This is somebody. He was either gonna be my competition or he was gonna be somebody I fucked with. And sure. thank God we we ended up just coming That's together good. and and nah, ben because is, that was the only person I saw that was in my lane. And you're a sensitive cancer, so Can't, you gotta make soft sure soft shell crap. Yeah. Not not no hard shell. Yeah, no, show. that's what the oh, cancer is. Oh, she's into this astrology shit. But, that's yo, honestly, what, what about Fake Watch Buster? You know anything about him? I know about Fake Watch We had a collaboration, actually. Okay. About a year and a half ago. Um. So I'm Fake Watch Buster. We, we came out with a collaboration, and it was called Fake Watch Buster Certified. So I made these little pendants, and, you know, we sold a couple, and, you know. I'm so, so, so everything he's putting up is true? Everything. I mean, I mean he... 
I mean, how the fuck does he get his intro? I think his shit is dead now. Yeah. But um, when, when he was popping, it was funny because he was going after, like, Soldier Boy and whoever had fake watches. But then, yeah. like, nobody would, like, after, like, the first year he was up, no one was really posting pictures of their watches if they were fake. Yeah. He ruined it. Uh, he actually did people like us a favor. Mm-hmm. You think? Why? Because people weren't buying fake watches anymore. They were like, you know what? We got to step it up. And he called everybody out that had a fake watch. But I mean, do you think like rappers in particular? Do you, I mean, do you deal with anyone? I mean, when, uh, has listen, leases or, 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 or rents jewelry, out jewelry? When I came into the jewelry game, I didn't know. I'm like, yo, anybody on TV or anybody in a video got bread. Nah, they rent that. They all these motherfuckers in, like, are broke. Yeah, just I didn't realize how nobody has money. All, uh, nobody some. has money. Really? Nobody has money. So where do you get your money from? I'm or broke. Who? You not, bro, because you about to go no, home wait, and pack. Wait, 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 I was listening saying, to your let conversation. Let me me As you leave let here, me, me you me. said you was going home to pack. You was on the phone. So you out. You said you Listen, traveling the what world. What I'm saying is... You getting it, money. No, no one has... It's all a facade. It's all smoke and mirrors. So, like, all the videos and all the shit you see... So me, what is it? Is me it growing up, out? I'm watching these people in Ferraris and Lamborghinis. I'm like, yo, that's their shit. When I got into the industry, I understood it was all rented. Mm-hmm. It was all provided by somebody. So like the I label? look at things differently. Like the label, whoever. I mean, I, I there's mean, very few people who have. If you can't, whatever you could talk about. I'm just saying, like, have you had instances where like a label would buy jewelry for a video shoot? I had labels buy jewelry for someone. Mm-hmm. I had, you know, Fab got bread. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, nice. Who don't got bread? I can't, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, no, no problem. I respect that. But who got? Who, Fa- uh, F- Fab, Fab got bread. Okay. Fifty got a little bread. Okay. 50 got a lot of bread. Yeah. Floyd got super bread. You yeah. know about Floyd. Diddy. I don't work with Diddy. You know what? Let's, okay. You know what? Actually, Diddy don't got no great, bread. This is a great moment, listen, to go over. Let's we go gonna over. drop some names. No, right? let, let, let's go over. Bill let's Cosby. go over your clientele list of people that you've been dealing with over the Bill years. Bill Cosby got bread. And, and, and if you can, like, it's funny because last week we had Just Blaze on the show, and we went over everyone, like, not everyone, but a multiple amounts of, of of songs that he produced, and he gave a backstory or a little like tidbit or a little note. To, to things So let's In my mind like Let's go over like Some of the clientele You dealt with And give a little Quick story about them So What's something that's memorable Somebody like 50 50's not a client of mine But he always comes in And he likes to see What I have Okay So, so he, he could deal, he on his So he deals shit? with Dave Bling Dave Bling is a very good Friend of mine Which okay. is another jeweler We're not rivals But you know Yeah Shout out to Dave Bling what well, up? Dave Bling's the homie How do you feel about that Like I love Dave Dave is no, cool No not about him Like so if 50 comes in, it's kind of like he's taking an inspirational walk. He comes into your studio, he's looking at pieces, he's not buying, and then he has your comrade make something that so, you like. So what I happens is he it. goes upstairs, he tells Dave what he likes. Dave comes down to me, and he grabs a watch from me, and he gives it to 50. Oh, okay. So oh, we work, we work together. Okay. It's not, he's not my person, neither okay. is Fab. But I know what's going on. You know what I mean? I know what's going on. Okay, so right to Fab. You know. What about a quick story with Fab? Fab, Fab is good. Fab come try on stuff, put on stuff, you know, see what he likes, and then he goes and purchases it from Dave. Okay. But, you know. What was your most extravagant, like, request? Or something that's like, damn, I don't know if I can make this. Or So I have a client by the name DeVito. So he's like an African Danny. Justin. No. Oh. <laughs> he's like an African Justin Bieber. Okay. Right. And he is a Hopping in Africa. Okay. And uh, he was like, yo, listen, I need you to make a face of me when I was like f- three years old. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I'm going to give you a picture. Just make it. I'm like, make it out of what? Gold? He's like, I want <laughs> diamonds everywhere. I can't do an African accent because I we just can't. We appreciate you for not trying, Apu. Can you do one? What's her Mrs. problem, man? Huh? Can you do one, Mrs. Mm-mm, you ain't gonna have to give us three. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want. No. I need the biggest juice. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> bring it to Queens. Yes, yes. Three years old. So he, when he's I am like, three listen. years old, I could to bring you the picture, and you are going to make it for me. Exactly, exactly. So I Mr. was like, all Flawless. right, how do you tackle this? You know, the kid wants his face done out of diamonds. How, how much so. did he spend? Was it, you, did he, you use he, conflict diamonds? He, he has own diamonds. Nah, he spends he some bread. He spends, yeah, he spends bread. He's one of my money guys. He spends he spends money, but well, his know, own the, the piece was about like sixty grand. Okay, and uh, you know we we made it out of you know gold and diamonds, and it was just you know it was just, for me it was just an extravagant piece that I was like it was I like projects where I don't have yeah a most budget. definitely who who else would be uh, people that we would know. Hmm. You went over Floyd. fifty. You went over Floyd. Floyd went over. Uh, you have uh, maybe Fab. white women some stuff. White women got some extravagant orders as well. Maybe like a little. Icky I've done engagement rings for white women before. 
What about anybody like in the hip hop industry that we would know, mm. or, or even star industry in the movie industry? Anybody? Mm. You, there's no way you just of, have just Floyd, Fab, and 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 and, and uh, uh, Fifty. I made some cool stuff for Raekwon. Okay. Raekwon, I made a nice. What, you make what are you doing as you traveling? To all these places, like I just started traveling recently. And what are you doing there? Are you going to like conventions and like like diamond districts and so different the last areas? week. So the last week, I had a client of mine invite me to his wedding. Okay. So he's like, "Listen, you know, I bought the engagement ring from you. Why don't you come down to Hawaii? You know, everything That's is handled. Nice. Just come through. All you gotta do is show up." Look at like, how these relationships form, huh? You know, so I take care of him on the stone. He, he take care me. of you on the home. You know, there it is. So. That's my man, twenty grand. I need to get. Yo, I to seen Julie. that on I seen that on Snapchat. Yo, he had fucking uh, Johnny Manziel was there. Uh, Johnny, oh, shout out to Johnny what Manziel, you cool Snapchat? cat. You don't have a Snapchat. No, but I watch it. No, but I post you low key Pete. It. <laughs> yo, yeah. shout out to Johnny Manziel. Yo, yeah, make some... he got a Snapchat. You, What's his you, Snapchat? Yeah. Did, did you make him a serenity prayer? Uh, nah, he's the home. He's a good kid. He likes to listen. He's a, he's. What people don't understand is he, Did you do cocaine with him? No. Okay. He, What's listen. up with you and cocaine? You over there wrong. Cocaine is good. <laughs> listen, listen, Keep listen. It over there. What people don't understand is, is he's 23. Yeah, yeah, that's he's crazy. He's 23 and he's a fucking superstar. He needs to get back to fucking he can get, Listen, when I was 20, just Johnny Manziel. I'm not okay. into sports either, but whatever. Anyway. Okay. The, the kid is a superstar. If he wants to fucking do all the blow in the world, he can do all the blow no, in the world. Stop tomorrow chill. and then we'll get right back into sports. He'll run a mile, sweat it all out. But and is get right he back white? In. He's yeah, white. He's white. yeah they Manziel. different. They don't have no limits. So I need... <laughs> no, they not Mad to Pete. They not Mystical or Mia X. Listen. They have no limits. Like, you have to talk to him because you got no melanin. He, he so you need to let he, him know, like, he brother, he wasn't we doing can't no drugs keep around doing me. this. He, listen. You, but he, you know what he's listen, doing. Listen, we had a good time. Next we you drank. Know he's, we kicked it. That rap or that singer or and that. we had it. And that's it. Is, is, River, is, he, River Phoenix. Next you know he's goddamn yo, actually, River Damn Phoenix or yo, actually, I, Kurt Cobain. I, I, I did drugs with River Phoenix. Phoenix and why am I? I, I what kind of drugs did you do? Uh, XC. Damn, he said XC. He this is 1991. And why am I? 1991. Yeah, him Phoenix. and Steve Howe from the Yankees. Steve Howe from the Yankees. Yeah, most definitely. I made Usher's grills, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> That's so random. Where did that come from? <laughs> and did you I don't know. How did that happen? I got my friend next to me. She's like, hey, you got more clients than that. You, you did. So I can't think when I how, get how, nervous how did that, right now. How did that you know? happen? How did you meet Usher? Uh, so at the Nike, so I, I, I was... I, so I had Nike hire me for Air Max. You they want, perfect. They I want need some it. kicks. But I have a fat foot, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, he fat. doesn't do kicks. He does jewelry, you fuck. But he got connect. That's your problem. You limit people's connections. You don't know what that man has. Stop blocking his blessings. That's okay, a good get, guy. Get, get. Continue. Break down the so, social. So, so Nike reached out to me, and they wanted me to do, make a sneaker for Air Max Day, and I made a shoe for them. And uh, I had my little boot set up in, in, for Air Max Day. And Usher ended up sliding through the booth. And, With them um, rolly kicks? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he seen my jewelry before. He commented on my stuff before, and um, his manager reached out to me. He's like, yo, I want to do some stuff with you. And... Uh, was that his manager or wife or jerk? Shout out to Jaha. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not. Nice. That's my guy. Okay. Uh, he came through and got a couple pair, of gr- a couple pairs of grills for me. And um, what kind of grills? We delivered him some diamond ones, some plain ones, and then just some like. Did he have the U S H E R? Nah, nah. We okay. So you had to mold his mouth. Yeah. So he got his molds done, and then they sent me the molds. Got and then you. I, I got it done. And um, he's supposed to be coming in town next week on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jimmy, you said you right Jimmy, there for, for, for Jimmy for Jimmy Fallon. Okay. And uh, I might have him in the street for these 6th Avenue shoots that I do. So, Yo, actually, as you brought that up, let's go over. Um, so it's funny because I remember seeing, you know, I've been in the sneaker world for a minute. Um, just, just just loving sneakers, collecting sneakers with some of the best of them. And when I seen you do the the pieces, you auto- automatically remind me of Gabriel Urist. And you, but, 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 but you did it on a level that was... Super detailed. So now, now, before before you got on the show, mm-hmm. we were talking and you were explaining how you did this out of passion. So, so for, listen, for those that don't know, head over to, to Mr. Flawless's Instagram if you don't know. You'll see a bunch of pictures of the sneakers he made in diamonds. I mean, what'd you make? You made bar? Didn't you make Pippins? Uh, so look, look, r- real yeah. quick. Before I became a jeweler, I was a sneakerhead. My okay. whole life, I was a sneakerhead. So Gabriel Juris was somebody. Gabriel, if you're hearing this, I don't know if you know me or not, but I fucks with you. You know, I mean, he paved the way. He paved the way. He paved the way. He was he was the first guy who got sued by Nike. Yeah, 
you know. Season and thank you, God, because because of you, I didn't get sued, and I knew how to move. So, that being said, when I came into the jewelry game, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me see. Anybody can make a piece of jewelry when it's big. Mm-hmm. You can cram all oh, the, all the details you want in, in a piece. Yeah, like hold that. on, hold on. That, that was a thirsty pause. For how, how? Hold on. That was Why would you pause? Me? Anyone can make a piece of jewelry when it's big. When is that was big. thirsty? Yo, pause the client. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, what up, I'm saying up, is, yeah. look, you can cram. Listen, you could when you when you have extra canvas, pay. you can do whatever you want. Yeah, most definitely. But but try to fit all that in an inch. Pause that. <laughs> That's where you should have been paused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so so. But I'm a finish. So so you detail. Hurry up and finish. You, if I pause that. Take it too long. Me Ooh, I don't want. I don't need. I can stand no <laughs> so, man. So, so, so my area. So, so where, where I came in the game is I wanted to do everything small. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do the big shit. Everybody did the big shit. The down south fucking sure, sure, all most that definitely. extra big gaudy doofy shit. I wanted to make things small. So how do I get? That's not a pause. That's not a pause. Man, get the pauses out the way so it's I can keep going. Ball. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's pause the client. Let's pause the client. Go okay. Ahead. So go ahead. So, so, so I was like, you know, how can I make this shit small? Where like I see somebody, somebody do a sneaker. I see somebody do a sneaker before, right? The sneaker's four inches. Yeah. Anybody could do a fucking sneaker and put all the details yeah. into four inches. Yeah. Can you do it in one inch? Yeah. Can you put all that in one inch? Yeah. So Word. that's where I, my whole shit was. I was always trying to cram it in. Cram it in. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to I Chinese. Hate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate you. Yeah, again. Yeah. Ah! So, <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah. So, my whole shit was trying to make everything smaller. Okay. Everybody was always trying to make things bigger to make more money. Sure. I was always trying to make but things wh- smaller. Wh- why but did the you smaller shit is that? expensive. But why? why did you think that? Because I felt like it's it's detail when you could when you when, you ever see a grain of rice. There's yeah. people who draw on rice. Who? I've seen a boat. <laughs> Have you seen that before? <laughs> I've seen boats. Where? Some Asian man in the fucking middle of Thailand. That's because they naturally squinting. They can see. <laughs> no, that's not nice. That's not nice. That no, but listen, listen, see. listen. No, no, seriously. There's people who they paint. Already here. There's people who really paint on a grain of rice, and they and they tell stories. And when I tell you, not a fucking like a little paddle boat. I'm talking about a a, no, a, like a, a, ship. a pirate ship. Yeah. They paint on a little grain of uh, on a little grain of a fucking of of rice. To me, that was fascinating. So, like, to try to get things, all, all that detail and something small is worth is val- is more valuable Most to definitely. me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So you made so you you want to make it. I seen a foam posit jewelry sneaker that you made. You want to make in the Pippin uh, uh, that you uh, made. I did the Pippin, what the foam posit. I did the Jordan so, one. So, I did the mags. So you made this, but you made this just for your own. I made it for myself. I just wanted people to see the work that I do because see what was going on was anything that I would make. The jewelers down the block would copy. Sure. So I was so like, they, you they, know what? they clocking you. Yeah, but I was like, but then, no, but, but, but even when guys? they would do Jewish it, I was guys? like, yo, they just skipped out on, on this fucking chat. How are you going to skip out on Who are these guys? Who are these guys? It's Jewish not about guys? Jewish guys. It's about just other jewelers <laughs> copying my <laughs> shit. Did you go visit them? You, you want, want me to send really, Frank you over there? You want me to really drop names? No, I don't know what to do. I could drop names. Gabriel Jacobs is one of my biggest, like, he, 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 he the Raffaello and Co. But I don't even want to bring life to these guys. No, we're going to bleep I mean? them just to bring like, ooh, you know, well, you know the guys say? that were copying my stuff. Try bleep those. I got, they, they prayed for a guy like me to Do come. you believe in um, imitation is the sincerest? No. I didn't until recently. Okay. No, imitation is not the biggest form of flattery. I seen someone the imitation other day that had the same imitation wig as you. And it's fucking annoying. It is be, annoying. I'm with her original. on this one. The same way I'm not with pausing. Mel- Melanin Trump. Like, why would you steal mm. the whole speech? Like, mm. be yourself. Mm. Let my nigga, Mr. Flawless, be popping. Mm. Like, why y'all gotta come copy his whole I style? Agree with so, y'all don't have no creativity? Leave him alone. I'm with her on this one. Okay, I agree with Goodness, that. I agree with that. So, not, I'm not flattered. I was I'm very annoyed. emotional about shit like that. So, Nike. You a so we know you cry a little you know, bit, a little, little tear, I'm, I'm shed a little tear. She's, she's I just, that, man, you know how many. She's an astrologist guru. <laughs> huh. So, so Nike comes and visits you before Nike even came to visit me. They sent me a, a cease and desist letter. Mm-hmm. What? Like, boy, if you don't like, stop like making cut this, this shit, if out. you don't stop making this shit, we're gonna shut your store down. Really? You're not gonna have any kind of money. <laughs> we're gonna take all your stuff, even the stuff that's not Nike. We're gonna take. Really? Oh, so what did you have to do? So Suck my my partner's wife, my <laughs> partner's wife is a lawyer, and she's like, "Look, the kid didn't make anything. He wasn't selling it. It's not on the website. It's not for sale anywhere." Well, they were like, "Well, he said this on this interview. Sometimes, you know, I said." Yeah, they watch they everything. You know what Yo, I, mean? I just want to give you a fact. I was speaking to a friend the other day, and I'm not gonna even mention his fucking name, 
But he was talking about Nike and how, like, how they, like, yo, he was telling me unsolicited, they have a million, almost a million job applications come in a day. Yo, a million. Want to hear something funny? A million. So the point I'm trying to make is the people that want to get high idea or a high idea, what I'm saying is they don't care about certain people because a million people are unsolicited putting resumes a day. I, let me tell you. Let me, let me explain something to you. Again? I would tweet the dirtiest, stupidest shit every day. Mm -hmm. The moment I signed with Nike, I tweeted something just stupid, and they fucking alerted. They, they emailed us, and they were like, he has to race this right now. Really? They are on their shit. They stu they they're they studied me for a little while. Okay. And they're on me now. So I have to be very careful on how I move. So you went from a cease and desist to a contract? Uh, to a contract. Really? Yeah. Can you talk about that? I can. What what do they contract you for? I got a contract to make uh Air Max for Air Max Day. Okay. And um right now we're in the what we're working on right now I can't really talk about, but uh but you're working Hopefully on... there'll be a sneaker soon. Okay. Really? It's in the talks. And 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 you also actually did a sneaker with Feli. I did a sneaker with Feli last summer. How did that come out? That went well. I sold out in eight hours, which I didn't how, think was gonna sell. How did that even did. happen? First of all, shout out to Sean. So shout out to first of all, first of all, shout out to uh, Sean. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to Luis. Luis. Yeah. I don't know whoever else over there, but I know Sean and Luis. They came up to people. me one day at uh I was in Vegas and I was doing a show for uh um, what's that show? What's the agenda? Called? Agenda. I was doing yeah. agenda in in Vegas. They flew me out, and Sean came up to me. He's like, "Yo, listen, we want to do you know want to do a sneaker collaboration." I was like, "Sneaker? I'm not a fucking athlete. Like what?" Again, you again, yeah, again, again, I'm again. A, your family had I'm to be like, looking at you yeah, like yeah, this little, fucking yeah. guy is the knock with blood. Yeah, you know? yo, we, 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 we're sneaker, and they're like, "Yo, listen, we want you to, you know, just pull a colorway together and just, you know, see see what it is." And I was like, "All right." So I went to the office. I saw some stuff. I'm like, "Yo, I had the sneaker when I was 12. Let me fuck with this shoe." And you know, I, in my head, I was like, "You know, let's see, let's see what it does." I didn't think it was gonna really sell. I knew they would they would move, but I didn't think they were gonna like fly and. I sold that in eight hours. Well, people were bored into the brand. And I thought it was cool. As my friend April Walker has said, I don't know if you're familiar with April Walker, uh, fashion designer from many, many years ago. I had Walker wear. She told me something that many many years ago that stuck with me. She talked about BYOB. And bring moving, your own bottle. I bring moving own over bottle. to Jersey, I thought it was bring your own bottle, but it's build your own brand. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what you've been doing. And people are buying into that, you know, for mm -hmm. the most part. Hey, listen, who are some of your favorite jewelers besides you? Can you admit that? I like, yeah, of course. I like, I like what um, David Yerman is doing. Really? Who's this guy? Where's he from? David. Yer yeah, Who's that? He's Chinese he's guy. Him. David Yerman. He's he's a popular. He's a popular jeweler. He's he's big into silver. He's on Fifth Ave. He and like and he mixes, you know, a lot of he, he mixes a lot of precious stones with silver, mm. which is cool to me, because I know what it's worth. But mm. <laughs> he's doing his thing. It's a brand. Right. It's a brand. However you break so it down. So he's like making like a lot because he's not spending so much because it's silver. It doesn't matter. His brand is money. You know, his name is money. So yeah, that, but then when that shit start turning, you like, damn. But it's not going to turn because it's it silver. You never know because sometimes silver turn into rose gold. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Uh, I, like, I like, you know, we, we love Jacob. You know, we love what he does. Yeah, but he never he, really he, responded to you, right? You at never really day, had a conversation day, with him. At the end of the day, Fuck him. you got to, uh, listen, I respect him. Whether I listen, deal with him or not, there's a way, you got to respect you, him. You know what's so funny? Sometimes in this business, whether you're in the jewelry business, music industry, whatever fucking business mm -hmm. you're in, just about, just about being connected and moving around with certain people. Sometimes your idols, mm -hmm. you want to meeting them and realizing that they're not like who you really thought they were. Well, listen to who I like. I like Jacob the Jeweler. Mm -hmm. I like David German. Mm -hmm. I like Lorraine Schwartz. Mm -hmm. I like Jason of Beverly Hills. And I like Ben Bowler. And that's it. Okay. I fuck with that. And there's so many other great jewelers out there but I just don't really know about or sure. care to know about. Sure, sure. Or came across, but well, those are the people that I fuck with. It, it, it's, it's good. I think Lorraine did a great job. She okay. What did she do? She was very creative. Girl? She, she, yeah, she's a, she's a female. Where's she from? Um, I, I think she was from New York and then ended up moving to LA. Okay. But she deals with the Kardashians and all that. She really? Does, yeah, she does her thing. She, she, she's, she, she's. I want to fuck Chloe, man. 
Chloe, Chloe Kardashian. Don't want I mean, Courtney, she only want Courtney, big back. Okay, Courtney, Courtney's more your speed. Courtney, I want to fuck Courtney. Courtney I want to give her a third kid. Can I tell Disick, you who I like out of we all know of them? His Disick is probably the same size as your Disick. So, no, I like. First of all, I'm I like. Hung. Uh, you're not hung. You still hanging. It's still up there. We don't get it <laughs> drop yet. So you gotta chill My with all that big hung. talk. <laughs> What the fuck? Listen, I told you I had a cable vision remote. No, and stop I told you fucking, it was the it was the, it was the Apple Watch. Me. So go ahead, what'd you say? What, what'd you say? <laughs> Dan went to Kardashian? Yeah, I, I like Kendall. Like she she's low key. Nobody fucks her. Nobody yeah. fucks her. I like her. Ken, Kendall. Ken, Kendall looks like she, the only you know problem. Mean? No, no surgery. The only scary thing about you know me mean? with Kendall is she looks like she has a lot of cotton in her clitoris. And I worry about that. You ever mess with a girl where you got to pull the cotton, the uh, panty, the cotton panty? No? Okay, wait, what's happening with the cotton, with the panty? No. What's happening? Okay, I'm my bad. I'm sorry. No. I, I don't know. The, but listen, Kylie is, she's beautiful. Kylie's In good, but pictures. No, 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 but she wasn't always beautiful. So what you, mm, she might be okay now. Show, right? But as soon as those lips deflate and she got to re-inflate them, it's she like, the girl, go sit back down. Like, she's not real. I I I'll, I'll support you about, in your no, in your court. She, she, no, 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 of course. What you said, Chloe? Whatever one you said. Listen, they're all pretty kids. No, listen, they're not. They're listen, all pretty listen. kids. Shout you know to what? North. Uh, Mr. Flawless. <laughs> 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 Yo, Miss Listen, Mr. Flawless is uh, Russian and he's Jewish, right? Yeah. And one thing I will tell you about growing up, right, and messing with the, I I tried my hand at messing with Russian chicks. Mm-hmm. And they are honestly, like a Svetlana, honestly, yo, Svet- honestly, Svetlana. yo, honestly, Olga. You're the worst. I don't like no ogres, especially Shrek. Because he... <laughs> it's not Olga, it's Olga. <laughs> She's <had> ogres. <laughs> no, I didn't mean Olga. I said Olga. <laughs> I'm leaving. Get me off this. Take this mic off me. I want to go. I'm, not, I'm done. I'm no, done. I'm gonna be no honest with you. Yo, messing with. I'm gonna forget. Like I had growing up. Like I was about 17. Just got my permit. I had a Nissan Maxima. I I had had a, a, that was my first car, Maxima. I, yeah, I, my, 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 I had my a 96 car. SE. My first car was a Chevrolet, Chevrolet Caprice Classic. And let me tell you something. The Russian girls I was fucking with in Brooklyn and Brighton Beach, they were like, what kind of car do you drive? And I was yeah, like, man, I was like, I'm driving a Chevrolet. She was like, no good. Only fuck with Beamer <laughs> Benz. And I go, here's the thing, like, honestly, and back to your family, too, because it's like, I've been around, like, I've been involved in sneakers for a minute. I used to work down at Fulton Street where we managed a shop, where we had a tattoo shop, porn shop, jewelry shop, uh, sneaker shop. It was like seven stores in one. That's dope. And so I mess with, so I, I'm friends with tons of Borises, tons of Russians. So the point I'm trying to make is, you know, th- those guys are characters. They're funny, but, you know, dealing with the girls, it's just, it's, it's just a tough... Like, girl, bro, I'll never forget, like, I was talking to this girl and her brother... And he, and I was like, yo, what do you got? Like a Louis Vuitton bag? And she's, he's like, huh, you think Louis Vuitton, this is one of a kind, gator skin, $80,000. Yo, yo, why is why is certain like Russian people, honestly, especially like Russian, Cause why, we, why we, are they we so come materialistic? From a, we come, no, because we come from a corrupt, you know what I'm saying? In Russia, the government is corrupt. It's a bunch of gangsters, mafias. Yeah, yeah. So they, they're on some gaudy shit. Yo, honestly, so from, every, a, so, from so one cult, Italian so the guy... Cult, so listen, the culture is gaudy. From, Italian guy to a, from, from an Italian guy to a Russian guy, honestly, I want to say this, or a Russian Jewish guy, I respect the Russian mob because I'll be honest with you, they are everything that the Italian mob didn't fulfill. And I'm explaining to you why. I think the Russians, they stop. They're ruthless. Yeah, yeah, they're ruthless. They're ruthless. And, and that's the thing. The They'll Russian kill your mob, kids, your mom, yeah. your wife, like Italians won't do that. Yeah. The that's Italians want to fucking, the, the Italians want to make sure. Ruthless. Listen, shout out to Rasputin. You ever been to Rasputin in Brooklyn? I know who Rasputin is. Oh, my He's, God. My dad loves the guy. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. But anyway, I, I, I respect the Russians. You ever mess with a Russian guy? But uh, that's how Mr. they got their point across. No, I don't like anyone who's Russian because I'm on CP time, so you ain't going to rush me. What do you mean? You're going to slow <laughs> it down, and you're going to let me... Get myself together before we go out. Like, just chill up with all that Russian shit. Like, relax. I'm almost ready. Well, I uh, listen for those for those that don't know. Okay, you have on your Instagram incidents. If you don't know, go on over to Instagram. Head on over to, and check for Mister Flowers. You have this thing. I don't know where the fuck it started. The photo shoot on Sixth Avenue. Sixth Avenue photo the, shoot. The crazy thing that fucking bugs me out about this, Miss Listen, listen. I'm listening. This, this Miss fucking listening. kid does like photo shoots on Sixth Avenue, and my mind is always like, how the fuck 
didn't the cops bother him? Because, yo, honestly, one, I mean, there's so many the, things that you've done. He the for the protection. Oh, that's true. He that's could do true. a photo shoot, runway show, <laughs> flash mob, wick line. He could do whatever he want. He could be he Ex- could be judge, yo, yo. motherfucking million. Yo, tell, he could do court tell right Ms. there Lisa. on 6th Avenue, and they're going to let him do it. One. Tell okay. Miss Lisa, tell Miss Lisa like some, of, tell Miss Lisa some of the uh, photo shoots that you've done on I've Sixth done Ave. Oh, right. While the traffic, I had the couches lights. on there, I had some beds on there, See? Had some, some cars, you Wait, know. You gotta get but I get it done in fifty one seconds. Give him man. a remote control and a no, diamond. Actually, 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 I get it done before anybody gets there. Ow, that's what he said. I actually, shout out to uh, I don't know if, you if get it guy, done before anybody. Gets I don't know there. if a guy is managing you. Uh, what's his name? But he he has reached out to me. I'm sure he's mentioned to you about me and Bun doing one with you. But Bun hasn't been in town. I'm trying to get Bun in the street. Yeah. ASAP. So we're gonna we're gonna do that I soon. I want to get an old yeah. school. Yeah, low rider, yeah, you know? You know? Put the fucking... Yeah, I want it up in yeah, the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. Tell, your, so tell your grandma to beat So how me. do you get this done so quickly? Like, Light turns red, I get in the street, I do my thing, I get So, right like, now. but how much prepping does it take? Like, none? Is it kind of like I mean, like we prep, too? but it takes... Look, listen, 51 seconds is a long time. Yes, it is. So, that's, so, I, so you got that down to being a yeah, white so I, I, I clocked what it was. So it was 51 seconds. So I'm like, if I get shit out in 30 and then I got 20 minutes, 20 seconds to like take a couple shots and then wait for the light to turn green Explain again. Explain some of the shots that you have and the people that you brought there. I mean, I had A-Track on there, which is a DJ. DJing. He's a great DJ. He's a... With turntables. But I'm talking about with, on 6th Ave, on yeah, the fucking street. I had, I had Leah Mob and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the twins. More than that. Didn't you have a soccer guy or something? I had... Who else we had? We I had, seen... We one had time McConan. I seen you have... One time I seen you have a fucking uh, a turtle bowl. Oh, I, ha- I had um, I had um, Victor Cruz out there. Yeah, you have a shout out to Victor Cruz, the homie. Um, we're working on getting Usher out there. I mean, it's just gonna, it's just gonna grow. So let what me do you let d- you know. Hold on, I'm so sorry, okay, Mr. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When it's time, cause I feel like I missed out on the Victor Cruz, and I'm still here for you. So when Usher's here, you're gonna need a glisten coordinator, and anybody can't just be throwing like you know. Baby oil on Usher, you is a certain kind of a glisten, and I can't divulge that secret right now because he has to be shirtless. So you let me know when Usher's here, so that he can make your gems and jewels look good. I don't I'm, know what kind I'm, of thing we doing. What the fuck like, is she talking about? Be quiet. Very kind of Mr. T. You said Usher, and I'm thinking Usher on Sixth Avenue, shirtless, mad chains, Mr. T. Let's do it. I'm gonna glisten him up for you, and then we gonna get somebody to shoot it. I'm ready. Listen, Who else we gonna get? Listen, w- w- listen, honestly, that Sixth Avenue photo shoot is something to me. Honestly, I'm, I'm just it should to keep... be a fucking. It should be honestly. It should be filmed like as a TV show. It should be on Vice Land. I'm trying to get Vice to get involved. Man. I don't know who Vice, uh, Vice. If you're listening, I need Vice to get involved. Man. Listen, Vice. Done, I want to do a people. porno on there. Okay, listen. But um, as we go, you know what? Well, you know what? Let's take a break. Let's take a break and let's come back and let's start to finish up the show. And um, you know, or Mr. Flawless and yeah, I don't I mean, trust people. people. People don't know what fucking time is when they listen. Is they listen to when they up. when they want to listen. Internet, listen. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Get your fucking coffee, ice cream, your cookie dough, your thin mints in the freezer, and uh, we'll be right back. You listen to the Premium P Show with Miss Listen Knows. We'll be right back. Ow. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Internet, if you fuck with the Premium P Show, and you know you do. Stop playing around and head on over to SoundCloud. Follow us. iTunes. Subscribe to us. Google Play. Do whatever they tell you to do. Stitcher. Comment. The TuneIn app. Tell a friend. Listen, we're, wherever we're trying to be around, wherever you get in, where you where you fit. Yeah. Okay? However you listen to your podcast, make sure you type in the Premium P Show and you subscribe, follow, and let a motherfucker know you fucks with us. And YouTube too. Listen, we, we out there. Is you Instagram, Twitter. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make to you, Internet, is fuck with the Premium P Show on these social platforms. Leave a comment so we know it's real. And you tell know? a friend to tell a friend so we could keep it moving and do more for you guys. Most definitely. So if you subscribe, all these uh, episodes will come right in your ear holes uh, early with the VIP access. You know what I mean? <laughs> so make sure you get to that. Internet, the Premium P Show with Miss Listen Knows. Expect the unexpected. It's organized chaos. Chit chit. Ow. Internet. We have more with Mr. Flawless, and it's time for I Don't Trust People, which is everyone's favorite segment. So let me explain to you, Mr. Flawless, about I Don't Trust People. I explain to anybody who's sitting down with us and hanging out with us. 
I don't trust people with something that started off on Twitter. And I would just shoot off tweets like, I don't trust people. I don't trust lawyers that wear cheap suits. So I don't trust this. So anyway, it became a segment when we started a premium P show. So, Intense, you know how to get involved. Make sure you use the hashtag, I don't trust PPL. And let us know who or what you don't trust. And, you know, you possibly could get featured if it's not no fuck shit on the Proven Peace <laughs> Show. What do we got this week? So our first submission comes from Caramel Classic. And okay. she says, I don't trust people who criticize me for working so much, then ask to borrow money. Oh, really? Well, first of all. I get it. Yeah, I mean, first of all, if someone is, is, is working hard and then people got to bother them for money, obviously, listen, stop asking for money. Don't ask friends for money because when you mix friends and money and borrowing, that shit don't work out. And also for you, if you have a broke friend, don't be the one who always invites the broke friend out and then is mad that they don't have money. Yeah. It's like, bitch. You knew she didn't have $2 on Tuesday for $2 Tuesday. And now on Friday, what did you expect her to have? Fuck this nigga Friday? That's what she's going to do to get her drink? <laughs> like, unless you buying it. So stop doing that. Don't put your friends in bad positions. Since you got into jewelry, and, you know, I'm sure people have got to know you from being Mr. Flores. Mm. I mean, do you see, like, people trying to borrow money or ask for things? I was going to ask yeah, the whole something a little earlier. All, I get that shit all the time. I don't trust people who are, like, super nice. Yeah. You gotta, you know what? It's, it's like funny you say that because super nice and, I tell people at least one day out of the week, be an asshole. Because if you're super nice, people walk all over you. Well, Pete, you gotta switch it up. Pete, there's only seven days in the week and six days that I speak to you. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what day does he think this is? So maybe you should take the reverse and just be, you know, you, the asshole, only one day, like you said. So you're I, saying, you saying. Yeah. Oh, what's the next submission? Stop okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You so, gotta learn how to swerve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this next one comes from Miss Listen No. Oh, really? Okay, you <laughs> shameless pug. Right. I don't trust people that don't bathe before a workout. It's like not washing your hands before a meal. Wait, wait. So you gotta bathe before you go to the gym? I think you should. I Why think should you do, do that? You quick... gotta bathe after the gym. No, if you were at work all day and now you're going to the gym, nah, I don't nah, like... you you bathe after the gym. For yeah. sure. I I'm do. I'm not gonna okay, shower, so or go me, to the gym. And I'm a shower, shower kind of girl. So I and I've been doing two a days, and that's what made me think about this because I went to a spin class and the guy next to me was a little like pungent. I was really? like, oh my god, like. Why Not didn't sex he mail? know that this was gonna happen to? He don't care. He's a guy. Well, I need him to care. You need I to need... move your seat. Yeah. No, because at this gym, you pick your bike before you walk in. So I knew I that, that I had the bike that I, I wanted, and I was like, I want this bike, and I want That's this some soul guy cycle shit right there. to yeah. take a, a a little like wash. Now, you, listen, at least, guys, like, lick your palm and wipe your pit. Like, what's going on? He was so stinky. I was like, yo, I don't care if it's Beyonce playing right now. I'm pissed. Okay. Man, fuck that. And that's when I tweet. I'm so sorry. It was like okay. an emotional What else we got? Tweet. What else we got? Our next submission comes from NYC Neath. And he says, I don't trust people who wear hard bottom shoes on the weekend. If you're not in church, t take that shit off. Really? What do you mean? Uh, Hard bottoms, like you know, like you know what? You know what? I'll be you honest with you. Sneaker, sneaker, sneaker guy. I don't trust people who wear jeans, hard bottoms, and white tube socks. Like yo, honestly, like if you're doing that shit, you probably a part of ISIS. You know, I just, <laughs> fuck ISIS. I, I, I'm from Brooklyn. I, I, right. Wait, you must do that. You do, but right now, you don't. Nah, nah. He, he, uh, Mr. Force is at a point where he don't even wear socks anymore. Uh, that motherfucker. Boy, boy, yo, that no. motherfucker's not wearing socks no more. You know. How do you keep your feet from being funky? Do My you feet have are funky sometimes? You know what? Well. I don't think my feet are funky. But no, you do. Yes, you do. You just said it. Don't nah, try to change it up. you know what it is? I don't, wear, it I don't wear my sneakers long enough for them to get funky. Oh, shit. Now rewind to mm. the next person. You talking like somebody with You talking that money talk. I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> licking the bottoms of my shoe every day, beloved. Shout I don't have time Joe. for funk. Okay? What else we got? Last one? I don't have time for funk. Okay, our next one comes from I am Chris Jones. I don't trust people who go from saying they get money to making a GoFundMe in less than a month. <laughs> Yo, honestly, GoFundMe is the People new Kardashian. Me on that shit all GoFundMe the time. is the new Kardashian. I feel bad because it's like, all right, 
I'm a jeweler, you know what I'm saying? It looks like I'm 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 out here making millions sure, and billions sure. of and dollars. And, and, and Instagram it's like, makes everybody like, like I beautiful. can't I can't like throw like ten dollars to this person. Sure. It's just like, but I'm getting that all day. Yeah. You know, there's people missing eyes and faces. And yeah, it's yeah. just I think it's just I think it's rude. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the sad thing about this world is especially is that I think that when something happens, a GoFundMe page pops up. And it just goes to show you that we don't prepare for our death. You know, uh, in the beginning, in the first episode we ever did, Just Buddies Talk, I was telling him, like, yo, I don't want to make a will because it feels like I'm going to die. And he says, but you are. But you are going to die. So you have to make a will. You know, and I guess the point I'm trying to make is, like, it's nice to see, like, even, like, yo, honestly, like, shit was overwhelming when I see Alton Sterling, the dude from Baton Rouge who got killed. Uh, murdered uh, by the cops, we could say. Um, yo, he got like I seen the GoFundMe page, Miss Lisa. Yo, he got like eight hundred thousand in like fucking twenty four hours. Right. That but, shit was. But, yeah. but what I'm saying is, yeah, the money's there, but he's not. Yeah, no, I know, I you know. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, m- money really doesn't solve anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, these kids got college funds. That's whatever true. The fuck, like they go to college. You need, you should you should create some kind of a scholarship that like makes people want to like strive for something like you know something for I don't know like we'll figure it out later I'll take my percentage but our last one is a Pete tweet mm-hmm. and Premium Pete says I don't trust people who tuck their shirts half into their belt buckle I tuck my shit all the way in yeah no nah, I I just don't <laughs> that's like what people. she said <laughs> the problem is I don't like people who tuck their shirt in just to show you that they got a Hermes belt buckle. Or no, whatever not the fuck like that. it is. I'd be cold. But here's the thing, like if you <laughs> if you got a certain bell buckle, okay, I get it. I understand. But you know, why you gotta you know what I'm saying? It's like almost like a person gotta tell me That's extra shit. And yeah. then there's yeah, one the more shit. from Pete. And I'm reading this one only because I feel like it's you throwing shade. Go ahead, fuck Premium you. Premium Pete says, I don't trust people who wear jorts. Who wears jorts? I got jorts on right now. Who wears nah, jorts? No, you don't have jorts on. That's not jorts. Those shits are jogging shorts. Jorts. shorts. Man. Anyway, I'm Turn that cam on him. I'm Who de- wears jorts? I'm de- jorts I'm, on I don't know right what you're now. talking about. Shout out to Contract Jerk. But here's the thing. <laughs> my, my mindset is this. Honestly, I, I want to say this tweet. <laughs> I don't trust people who tell you that they're taking a break from social media. If you're taking a break from social media, take a break. Yo, Miss Lissa tweeted like two days ago, like, yo, I'm taking a break. And then I seen her tweeting. I'm like, what the fuck? First of all, yo, you don't know. Yo. First of all, how many kinds of breaks do they have? They got a 15 minute, you got a 30 minute break, you might have an hour break. Yeah, but a five might minute be, break. I didn't say how long the break was. The break could have been, as soon as I said break, done. When you be like, oh, a moment of silence for the dead, and then you bite your hand. Like I said, chicken is on sale. Like, you don't tell me how long my break is going to be. I just don't. I My don't, break was the Sunday that the Lord told me to take. I respected the Sabbath. I would on let a her Sunday. be my babysitter. Yeah. And she, that's what I did. She should be. She probably breastfeed that baby too. Yeah. yeah honestly. I uh, took my. It was. It was for church. As we're sitting here with Miss. You Foles. go to church on Sundays. Sometimes church. You ever heard of a bed? A bedroom Baptist is when you stay in your house and you log on to. FCBC, that's my church.com. FCBC, what yeah, is that? First what, what Corinthians that mean? Baptist Church is on 116th Street and Adam Clayton Boulevard. She corrupt. And you can go there and you can praise, worship, Yo, and deliver some. How many the, times of the they word, come around? How many times heathen, they come around with the offering? How many times? One time. First nah. of all, you're a Catholic. They tell you when to pray. Like, okay, everyone, get on your knees. Pause. No, no, no. It's nah. time to pray. You know what? Honestly, I don't trust no we're church not that tell you when it's time to pray. Yeah, but y- y- y'all come around with the offer way too much. You gotta let the spirit just move you, and if the spirit so so happens to move you to donate some money to a good cause in a positive black neighborhood, mm-hmm. do or so. Or Jewish. No, y'all, y'all good. Y'all done, y'all done did everything y'all hey, needed listen, to do. <laughs> they still got to do something. Shout out yeah, to the Gefilte you Fish. You good. Matzo ball, uh, we, matzo you cracker, good. arugula. You good. Shout out to all that. But honestly, as we're sitting here and we're wrapping up, um, but before we even get into that, internets, that was I don't trust people. How you get involved, so make sure you hashtag I don't trust people at the Premium Pete, at Premium Pete Show, at Miss Listen Knows, and let us know who or what you don't trust. And if it ain't no fuck shit, We'll put it on a future episode of the Premium Peace Show. But as we're sitting here, for us, um, what is like something that you can sit back and say is like, yo, this is like my greatest sale I ever made in jewelry. Can you like, can you talk about that? 
Nah, not yet. Really? But I mean, so far, there has to be something that you said that 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 that, that you made the fucking. I've done some cool shit. You made shit Uncle before, fucking Boris say, "Yo." I mean, this sounds like that all the time. Like, Yo, this was a good sale, but like that great one didn't happen yet. Like that. Like, really? That good, but there has good. to be something that is even right there. I mean, I mean, said, Floyd. Floyd comes through all the time. I'll be honest with you. Floyd's Floyd's my guy. He's the one that makes it like, yo, that was dope. You that was assistant. Good. Yeah. You know, but like, I'm I'm waiting for one as yeah. we speak. So and when that, and I don't want to talk about so, it. No, no, but you're saying Floyd spent at least a hundred. So Every time he comes in, he spends. Has 100. anyone spent more than a hundred? Yeah, he spent more than a hundred. I'm saying at least he spends a hundred. Yeah. You know, but I'm waiting for one right now. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I just don't want to yeah, don't, don't do that because one thing that everyone should learn is make moves, not announcements. I agree. No yeah. one has time to yeah, hear about wanna, what you're about to do or what's finna happen. Yeah, I didn't want to come here Let talking about money and the shit that I got. Now, what would know. be the worst sale you ever talk made? Talk about a little bit of money. Can I borrow some? That's the that's the thing. It's not, See, stop being stop being a hype. Don't her. tell me what to be. I want my forty acres, okay? Spike Lee told no, me I deserve this it. This is jewelry. And because this he's is Jewish, Jewish people. And you Italian? Between both of y'all, I'ma get my house. If it, Hurry up. If you ever came, if you ever came in there to those Jewish people, especially in his fucking uh, di- whatever district they call it, they will look at you. And, I'ma come with a diamond encrusted. Nah, dreidel nah. They will look at you. They will look at you. They will look at you as like. Yo, you gonna get that dreidel made. They would try. They would try to push you to the porn shop. You know what I mean? I'm not going to no porn shop. Mm-hmm. I'm a lady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I Ain't gotta be no. so bad. What's no. he Yo, talking about? Honestly, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what's the worst sale that you ever made? I mean, there's no, there's no such thing as a worse sale. No, I know, I know, sale, but it sounds know, weird. I mean, but I mean, you want to hear a funny? So when I started, when I just, when I just got the job and started working there, there was like a a, a green iced out like Al, a Scarface, Al green, a, a Scarface piece oh. with a dude holding a money bag and a gun, and it was an iced out green dude with a black mask on it, and I'm like, yo, who the fuck would buy this? Yeah, it's like three, it's like five inches big. I'm talking about, it's like this big. Of 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 a figure of a dude. Gaudy is not even the. It's there's a dude holding the bag and a gun. All I (laughs) start in my head. I'm like, yo, who the fuck would ever buy something like this? And 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 sat there for like two three years, and some dude just came home from jail and came through and and I sold it. And I was like, I couldn't believe I sold it. You should make a. I felt bad selling the shit. No, make a grimace. You know the purple thing from McDonald's. I know you could sell that. Why the fuck Because I'm, I'm just giving him a challenge. You know, you should he make. He already did the green, the green thing. You should make a, a, a good, uh, um, like a cat's deli. You should what collaborate with cats. I fuck with cats though. Yeah. You're Every so time greedy. I go, I went in there one time. I go, I'm gonna get. Some you should make a chitlin. A blinged out chitlin. No, no, I see now. Honestly, it. honestly, and all due respect, and I know he's not here, and I tweeted him, but I seen a king, a friend of ours, <laughs> wearing a <laughs> wing stop chicken wing. Gold chain, but I'm sure it was like some 33 carat uh, shit or maybe six carat. But the thing is, I was like, yo, honestly, yo, King, get that, get the, get that gold chicken wing off your neck, man. Shout out to a King. But 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 Wingstop, I don't know what Wingstop's doing. They you have some hungry. chicken wing shit. You know what I mean? I think it's cool. I think, listen, I think custom unique shit is cool. What's the most unique shit that you feel you made besides the Jesus or the angels? And the Mister, I didn't finish it, but I had a friend of mine who wanted a pork chop. Really? Yeah, not a pork chop, a lamb chop. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Wait, because we how were... do you tell the difference? I, I just he, he's Jewish, so it wasn't. Well, gold, okay. you wouldn't tell the difference. That's what I'm saying. Like, they no, no, just... no, it's the same. It looks the same. Yeah. It looks the same. They would just say how It looks the same. But yeah. I, th- that was a project <laughs> that I was, um, I thought was was cool. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to. Finish it. What stopped you? He had he had no more chicken. Nah, we were still debating on if we wanted to do it. He just we're still working on it, but it's it's something that's in in the process right now. But mm-hmm. I think it's a cool piece. What's next for uh, Mr. Forbes? I don't know, man. I feel like I can go in any direction. I like the TV. I don't want to. I like you. I like I you. Got a great TV. sense of humor. You got a great personality. You're witty. Um, you know, you're in a great situation. I think you proved a lot to your family. That uh, you know that 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 you embody the culture, and I think that uh, you know that's part of the reason why I wanted to have you on because I felt like uh, you know jewelry is different, but jewelry has great stories. And it's uh, just not my thing, you know. Yeah. I don't want to be like I want to be known for making like the best jewelry. The kid who came in the game and changed it and all that, but like I don't want to be 
known for just jewelry. You yeah. Know? So I want to so, I want to so, make a difference, but I just don't know so where or what, how yet. We don't know what's next. No, I'm working on it, but I'm I'm here I'm here for the good. Yeah, I'm 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 here to do something good. And 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 who and who would have said uh, Mr. Flores ain't political? That's political. I'm not political. I don't political like Mr. Flores. But listen, if you want to visit him, <laughs> he's on Sixth Avenue, where Forty Seventh Street, right? Forty Seventh Street. Check out his Instagram, Mr. Flores. This fucking guy is doing some no amazing shit. No underscores, no there. nothing. Just Mr. straight through. Wait, Mr. Uh, fucking yeah, for your uh, Instagram. On, on Instagram, it's Mr. Listen, Flawless One. Sh- on Snapchat, it's Mr. Dot Flawless. I knew Listen, it was something sh- different. Okay. Shout out to the algorithm, okay? Uh, I said you that learned right. a new detail. Algorithm? Said, yeah, yeah, $2 sense, word. $2 I'm word. I'm not speaking. I'm, I'm, am I kicking knowledge, though, or not? No, you nah. didn't. No, no, you nah, are. Listen, honestly. This is full of gems. We, enjoy, we enjoyed having you. The jeweler um, dropping gems. Dramms, that's hey. what I'm talking about. That's a tweet. <laughs> That's a sweet. Listen, what's the t- Miss Lisa always think of some witty way to make a title of the episode. But honestly, y'all, honestly, listen, I want you to keep inspiring people. Keep inspiring people like of the, you know, that want to get into entrepreneurial stuff, that want to build relationships, that want to just really just be pure and organic, you know. And I think that, like, part of the reason, like I said, I wanted to have you on here is because it's like, like our culture consists of not only music or food or clothes, but also jewelry. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I think that even though you know you're hesitant to say like I'm a jeweler, but at the end of the day, you're making you know you're creating your own lane. In I that. just don't like the stigma the jewelers have. Yeah, that's why I don't like. But you're you creating your I'm own saying? lane. So like, but I'm definitely from the culture. You're creating your own I lane. I just hate the stigma we have. It's like it's like a pit bull. You know what I mean? Not not all pit bulls are bad. Listen, internet, go go visit Mr. Flores down on uh, 47th Street. If you Street got in that chicken, Jersey. don't be going yeah. to him with your EBT cards. Yeah. about it's I love 15th. chicken though. Yeah. Like <laughs> get, get, get yourself get yourself a hot soft a hot sauce diamond. Yo, last question I have. Why, when you try to go pawn something with diamonds, you don't get as much money as you do with gold? Because we're here to rape you, man. God, I told you, jewelry's man. a waste of money, man. Don't do it. Yo, honestly, do gold, it. gold will always stay its worth. Get your shit together. But first, diamonds, man. they're like, yeah, you know, we did this with diamonds, but you know, you're not. Gonna Everybody get... has their own little it's way. It's like of, the rock. Of, of, they be of like, Jay Z already did this album. I don't know. It's not really worth it. It's all about them rocks. Yeah. The newest and the and the truest, but the gold. It's nothing like that golden era in hip hop. The golden era is everything. You can't change that. It's never gonna like leave. But no, you diamonds, got that right. you can trick people with diamonds. But listen, internet, make sure you head on over to also YouTube. My man Chris over here, the photographer and videographer of the Premium P Show, is making some dope video clips. Head on over to YouTube, search the Premium P Show, subscribe, check out all the videos. And make sure you check out Mr. Forwards. This was a dope episode, Miss Lisa. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I like just keep on diversifying. She just got real at the our end. content. Yo, you, didn't you know what I'm saying? Words today. I like diversifying our content and I'm pronouncing shit, motherfucker. You are. Right. You're doing so okay? well. I love it. Internet, you. listen. Fuck the Republic National Committee. Fuck the uh, 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 Olga Trump, the bitch that was at the massage parlor back in '94 when I was there. And shout out to Mr. Forwards. Uh, go get yourself a piece. Uh, but more so importantly, just pay attention to what the, what the man's doing. And we'll see you next episode. Yeah. Internet, you listen to our Premium Peace show. We out. We'll see you next episode. Cheer. Cheer. Bye. Ow. Ow. Cheer. Cheer. Ow. Hey. Cheer. Shh. And pull your booty out. Uh. <laughs> uh. 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 Uh.